Hello and welcome to the Tank Club. Today we're going to be having a look at all the add-ons that I use for tanking. This is a very common question that I get asked about my UI and my setup and all that kind of stuff in terms of my add-ons. So I'm just going to show you everything that I use now in terms of tanking and combat related stuff that is going to help you out along the way. So if you've seen any of my videos or watched my streams, you're going to know that I like to use a controller and I play on PC. Now for this reason, I do like to keep my UI pretty clear and... I don't like too much stuff on my screen at a time. I find it very difficult coming from console and moving over to PC and then using a controller to actually function with all these things popping up on my screen. So I do like to use a lot of combat cues from in the game, such as looking out for sound cues and visual cues, rather than relying always on an add-on. Now there are certain points in time where add-ons make my life much more easier, so I don't have to always be focusing, looking at a boss, looking for a certain thing, and I can kind of turn away and do other things. I can keep up times and things like that. So there's a lot of things that I use that are base game, but there are a lot of things that I also like to have in terms of add-ons. So if we have a little look at my add-on list, so we've got action duration reminder. There is a base game set up for this now, which is, this is just the timers. I don't have the pop-ups on my screen. I just have the timers on my ability bar. This is obtained also with the base game. The only reason I have the add-on for this is because there are some things that I don't want to see that the base game still tracks. So I don't want to see the ice shield from blockade, for example. I just want to see the blockade duration. So I have action duration reminder, so I can have the blacklist and the whitelist and kind of have it exactly how I want it. And I don't have to have timers for things that I'm not interested in. Add-on selector is a fantastic add-on. This gives me the chance to set up different packs. As you can see here, if I press this, I've got different packs where I can select my main tank add-ons, my off-tank add-ons, my, my main tank for Dreadcell Reef specifically. PvP, I can turn my add-ons off. I've got different ones for Dungeons and Black Ops Prison. Crafting and Overland, so when I'm just kind of doing solo content, turn all my add-ons on and different packs like that. So this is a really good add-on. And it also helps to increase my FPS because I'm not using the add-ons that I don't need when I'm doing instance content. So when I am doing dungeons, I don't have all my trial and my crafting add-ons turned on because I don't need them. And the same applies to when I'm doing things like when I'm main tanking. I don't want to have all things popping up and things going crazy everywhere. So I just have my trial add-ons for that situation. Obviously, when I'm doing more overland stuff, I like to be able to see my harvest map. I like to be able to see all the different things. I like to be able to do all my crafting, all my research, my trading. So I have those turned on. But in terms of inside actual content, there's a lot of things that I don't have on. So that is add-on selector. The important ones for trials, so Asylum Sanctorum has two nice add-ons here. So we've got Asylum Sanctorum status panel, and we have an Asylum Sanctorum tracker. Now these add-ons combined are going to have, the, the status panel is going to show you the timers on the mini bosses. It's going to show you when they're going to do the different mechanics and things. So that's really, really helpful. It's going to show you when they're, going to, when they're dead, when they're going to come back alive, when they're going to jump, when they're going to do the poison cone, a lot of things like that. The Asylum Tracker is also going to give you lots of different notifications about different percentages, when a jump's going to come, when the heavens is going to happen, all those kinds of things. So in terms of trial content, these are both very helpful for Asylum Sanctorium. Auto Recharge will auto recharge my weapons, it will fix my gear, it will do things like that, which is really, really helpful. It'll also give me a notification if my food is running out. Bandit UI, this is the thing that makes my screen look the way it does, so all my different UI features, my group boxes mainly, and my ability bars are changed with this. I don't really like to change the health and the magical and stamina bars and other bits and bobs, but you can change those as well. You can add additional health bars for bosses and things like that. So this will allow me to customize my UI. Blind all is quite good, so it will collect auto collect items that you pick up. So if you've got a piece of gear that you don't have in your collections, it will just auto bind it. Not always good if you want to have the ability to trade with your friends, but it's one if you're, gonna, if you're running around and doing stuff, it's not a bad one to have, just so you can auto-bind stuff straight into your collections. BR Helper is Black Rose Prison Helper. This will bring up a load of different notifications, showing you what ads are next, what round you're on, lots of information about Black Rose Prison to make it a little bit easier for you. So that's a really, really good one for Black Rose Prison. Advanced Synergy. This will stop you from stealing different synergies and allow you to pick up certain synergies, and you can... Customize it however you need so it can stop you picking up sigils in arenas and things like that So that's a really good one for selecting what sort of synergies you want to be able to pick up and don't want to pick up and things like that Especially if there's Alkosh in your group. This is a good one to have so you're not stealing conduits and things like that Buff the group is a good add-on for tracking your different buffs for 
things like powerful assault mostly it'll bring a little group box with everyone's name in and it'll show you if they've got the buff applied to them you can track pretty much all of your main gear sets like Yolnacrin, spell power cure powerful assault all those all those kind of gear sets that provide a buff to your group it's going to appear here bug catcher this is another good one so when we use bug catcher it stops the prompt appearing on the screen that we need to press obviously as a tank you do not want a bug to flash upon the screen a bug report if it comes upon the screen you have to press on it to get rid of it it's going to drop your block you could die so you want to have bug catcher that will send all different bugs to your chat window and you can go and review them later on but they won't put the pop up on the screen it prevents that from happening to make it a little bit easier clutch another good add-on it stops your weapons from disappearing so a lot of people will have this bug where your weapons disappear and you're just standing there or you've got the wrong weapon and there's a weapon stuck to your foot with this you can set up a hotkey you press the hotkey and it resets your weapons codes combat alerts fantastic add-on so this will be one of the best add-ons that you're going to get if you're not going to get many add-ons definitely pick up this one this is going to provide a lot of different combat notifications for so many different situations trials and dungeons it's updated the only downside to this is it's it, there's, it's not very customizable you can't choose what stuff appears you either have it or you don't and it just turns everything on and it'll just automatically show you but it is very useful it'll show you a lot of different heavy attacks and a lot of big mechanics and they'll just pop up with an alert on your screen and it is very very helpful combat metrics allows you to look at your uptimes and your of your buffs and your debuffs and your dps and your groups dps and all that kind of stuff so this is a really good one for tracking um, different combat situations. So if you want to look how a fight went, how their uptimes were, and all those kinds of things, this is a great add-on to pick up for that. We've got some craft stuff there, which we won't go into too much. Um, display leads, lazy writ crafter. These are all kinds of stuff that I use for doing my daily writs and seeing all my crafting stuff. Dressing room is an add-on that I still use, but a lot of people don't use this anymore. I like to use it just because I'm used to it and it's all set up. So this will allow me to equip all of my gear my skills and my CP for a specific situation just by pressing a hotkey, so I have it on my F key, so I press F1 and it'll equip my Adpul setup, I press F2, it'll equip Boss 1 setup. And I've also got the CP extension so that I can attach my champion points in there as well. Dungeon Timer is an add-on to track how long you've been in a dungeon in combat so you can see if you're going to get the speed run or not. Dustman is just a way to quickly clear your inventory, so I like to just quickly auto-sell everything to the merchant that I don't want, and so I have this. And it will also delete certain items that I pick up that I don't want. And that's all set up via that. Exoys Proc Set Timer. A fantastic add-on once again. So any proc set that you have as a tank, this is the way to track it. So Turn in Tide, Nazare. Literally every gear set that we'll use as a tank is a, pro is a proc set in some kind of way. You want to pick this up so you can track it and proc it on cooldown. Excellent add-on. Go home. This will just be a hotkey assigned way to travel back to your house. So I can press a hotkey. And I go straight back to my house. It's especially useful when I want to pick up, um, when I want to switch my gear over using the armory or if I want to get my ultimate and I want to use the, the shrine to get that. So really, really nice for that. Halls of Fabrication status panel. Again, another one that's going to show you various different things regarding Halls of Fabrications. It's going to show you different, uh, it's going to show you like the boss health bars on, on the triplets and things like that. So it's going to show you a lot of information for Halls of Fabrications. Harvest map is just a way to kind of look for different types of materials. You don't want to have this turned on while you're doing trials and stuff, but when you're kind of running around Overland and you want to pick up a specific type of material, you can use that. Hodor Reflexes. This allows you to see your, your group's ultimates, so their Colossus, their horns and that kind of stuff so we can get a really nice uptime on those things so a very very good add-on for that it will also allow you to see your group's dps each individual person if you want to i personally don't have it turned on because as a tank i'm not really that interested how much dps my group's doing i just use it for tracking ultimates how to cloud rest and how to sunspire obviously pretty self-explanatory how to cloud rest is going to give you tons of different notifications for cloud rest and that will be helpful for doing that specific trial. And the same for Sunspite. It's going to show up different notifications for different mechanics. And you can choose which ones you want to have and which ones you don't want to have. And it makes it really easy. Immersive Fishing is another Cloud Rest add-on. I actually don't use this as much now. But this is an add-on that was used for Cloud Rest before other Cloud Rest add-ons came out. Improved Death Recap is another add-on that I really like. This is going to show you a lot of information about the last few seconds after you die, rather than just the plain Jane screen that you get when you die. Using this, you can see the healing that you had, you can see if you were blocking, you can see how much stamina you had, you can see everything. Lots and lots of detailed info 
on what was the cause of your death. Really good for tracking stuff and finding out. Inventory Insight, it's a way to find gear that you can't find, so you just open it up, you type in what piece of gear you're looking for, and it'll tell you what character or what location you've got it stored in. Jack of all trades, an add-on for automatically switching your green CP, so when you go over to a chest, it will equip your treasure hunter. If you get on your mount, it'll equip your mount speed. If you walk to a merchant, it'll equip the one to reduce the cost of your repairs. All those kinds of things. Loot log is so you can see what stuff your group has picked up, so every time your group picks something up, it shows a message in the chat and it will also put a little icon next to it to show if you need that item or not. It also allows you to link everything into the chat that you don't need. So you can type forward slash LT and it will allow you to post everything that you've picked up that you've already got in your collections and it'll just send a message and then people can pick that stuff up from you. Map pins marks your map with loads of different locations so that you can find stuff easier. So sky shards, bosses, chests, every, everything like that. It's all there. You can choose which ones you want to have on and which ones you don't. It makes things really, really easy. Mini map. This is just a little circle mini map you might have seen occasionally on some of my videos. It's something that I only use when I'm doing overland. When I'm inside content, I generally turn it off, but it just gives me a little mini map that I can customize and see what I'm doing. No, thank you just hides different alerts and messages that I don't really want popping up, especially in trials and stuff. So when people leave guilds in the past, that used to lag your game a little bit. This add-on just prevents those from popping up. Please just debuff is another add-on that can be used for tracking different things. Alkosh, Torn, Taunt Immunity, those kinds of things. That's what I use it for. Purge Tracker, really good for certain instances where Purge is very um, a, a big thing. So Sunspire on Locusties. Hulls of Fabrications on the first boss. There's lots and lots of places where purge needs to be used, and this will show you when people need to be purged. So it's a good one for doing that. Q Cells, Dread Cell Reef Helper, and Rock Grove Helper. These are both very, very good for giving you different alerts for those particular trials. RGB AOE just makes my AOEs flash various colors. It makes things really easy to see. I personally like it. I have it turned on really fast. So dangerous AOEs flash multiple colors. Redificator is just a timer for various trials, so I, so I can constantly see the death counter and the time. It's just for that. Raid Notifier is going to give me lots of different information for various raids. It's quite old, so some of them are missing, but that's why we've also got things like the Rock Grove Helper and the Dread Cell Reef Helper, because they're not included in Raid Notifier, but Raid Notifier definitely covers a lot of the older trials, like so your Sanctum, your Hell Raw, your Vet AA. More of Law Cash, all those kinds of ones are in there. I think you've also got some Arena stuff in there as well, so it's nice to have that still even now. Samurai, this is another good add-on that will give you timers for when bosses will appear. So for sometimes, when you go into a trial, a boss won't be there, and it'll appear like 20 seconds later. This will tell you when, so you can start building up and maybe pre-laying AoEs and pre-casting different skills and dots and things. So this is really nice, so you can see exactly when the trial will start. So it's good for that. Now we've got Wizard's Wardrobe, and I'm still using Dressing Room, but Wizard's Wardrobe is kind of the better one to use because you can set things up. You're going to set up for each boss, each trial, each situation, your CP, your skills, your gear. It will take things out of the bank. It'll put them back. It'll do everything you need it to do. It's a really good add-on. I've not got this set up yet because I'm still clinging on to the past with Dressing Room because I've got it all set up for everything that I need it for. I don't really want to make the switch, but if you haven't got Dressing Room set up yet, or maybe your Dressing Room's reset, or you want to use a better add-on, Wizard's Wardrobe can be the better option. Some people have some issues with it, though, because it does auto-switch. So when you walk to a boss fight, it will auto-switch to that. Sometimes that's something that you don't want to have, but you can turn it on and off and things like that. There's lots of customization with it. It's a really good add-on. Final one for me is XL Gear Banker. This will take the gear out of the bank that I need. I can set up different profiles. I can set it as a profile of tank gear and I can withdraw it from the bank. I can set up a profile for dungeon gear and I can just withdraw the dungeon gear and then I can press it to put it back again. And it's just really, really nice for keeping my inventory organized and my gear organized and take out the gear that I need and then put it back and bring out the set. So I'm not carrying too much and there's not too much in my bank. Just really, really nice and organized. And then I can switch character really easily as well because I can press my XL gear banker to pick the gear out of the bank, press one button to equip it with my dressing room, and then when I want to put it all back, I just go to my bank, I press one button, deposit it all in the bank, I can switch character and pick it all back out with a different character. So really nice add-on for doing that as well. So that is everything for my add-ons. If you've got any questions, let me know in the chat. You can also ask any questions on the Tank Club Discord, and 
you can see more about my add-ons over on thetankclub.com. Thank you to all my Patreons for their support and everybody who supports the Tank Club. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.